Hello again, my name is Mike Mansell, I'm a services admin here at the Wild Ride IRC Network. In my previous video tutorial, I covered the process of registering a nickname using Wild Ride's NickServe feature. Um, and one of the reasons I discussed why you'd actually want to do that was that with NickServe, you're able to own a nickname and you're also able to establish yourself for other channels. Now say you want to create your own channel here on Wild Ride. That's great if you have a YouTube channel, a personal blog, a website, something of that matter, because you probably have a community that goes behind with that. So if you want to go ahead and create a chat room for that community, it's a dead simple process. This tutorial here assumes that you've registered your nickname already. Now if you haven't done so or don't know how to, just go ahead and look at my previous video that explains that in depth. Uh, with that said, I'm here, I'm connected to Wild Ride and I'm going to go ahead and join a channel that I want to register. In this case I'm just going to go ahead and say forward slash join which is the command for joining a channel. I'm going to join my test chan. And now that I've entered that command I am joined to the channel my test chan. Simple enough. Now here I have a green emblem. This green emblem signifies that I am a channel operator but most clients don't use the green emblem, they use a little at sign. Uh, either way, you do need to be a channel operator in order to register a channel. If you come into a channel and there's already people there, um, you can't register it because you're not an operator. In this case, I am the first one in this channel and I can go ahead and register it using ChanServe. Now, if you saw my previous video, it's pretty simple. I'm going to type in forward slash CS, that's an abbreviation for ChanServe, register, R-E-G-I-S-T-E-R, -E -E the channel name, which in my case is called MyTestChan, and the next thing you want to put in is a administrative password, which is test1234. Usually I use the same one as my um, NickServe password, unless you're going to be sharing the password with a co-owner. Um, I'll get into that in just a bit. And then the last thing you want to enter here is your description of the channel. Test channel in my case. So again your command is forward slash cs register your channel name, your administrative password, and a description of your channel. Once you've got all that filled in, go ahead and hit enter. Chancer will send you a confirmation right here as you can see that the channel is registered and then we'll set two modes, plus R signifying that the channel is now a registered channel and plus Q to your name which means that you are the owner of said channel. Okay, at this point here you have a channel. In some cases this is enough. You don't need to do anything else. But in many cases you want to put in a bot. It's a really simple process there. Um, we use BotServe here at Wild Ride. So if you want to see the list of the bots we have available, it's just forward slash BS. Again, that's an abbreviation for bot serve, bot list. They'll show you 114 bots that we currently have available. Go ahead and pick one that you like. Uh, again, you can change this at a later time. Uh, just for the sake of simplicity here, I'm going to use the wild ride bot. And I'm going to assign that to the channel. The command to do so is forward slash BS, assign, A-S-S-I-G-N the channel name which in this test is just my test tan, my test chan and then the bot name so wild ride once i've got all that filled in i'm going to go ahead and hit enter as you can see here i have the bot that's joined the channel additionally bot server is giving me confirmation that that went through at this point here you'll probably want to enable what we call fantasy commands now those are commands that you enter inside of the channel instead of sending commands out to bot server, chan server, whatever. Um, those make administrating a channel a lot easier. So if you're a newcomer to IRC, I definitely recommend going and doing that. Uh, enabling fantasy is pretty simple. Just, it's forward slash BS, set, your channel name, which is my test chan, fantasy, F-A-N-T-A-S-Y, on. Go ahead and hit enter. Now as you can see here, fantasy mode is now on. Once I've done that, I can do things in the channel such as kick using the ex exclamation mark. I can do ban, unban, mute, 
unmute, and a variety of other commands. Now one thing that many people want to consider is that you're probably not going to be at your desk all the time. So if you want to assign another operator for the room, go ahead and do so by using the AOP add and then the user's name. I'm just going to go ahead and assign myself and you'll get a notification here that user has been added to the AOP list. Now AOP is a standard operator. Um, in the description for this video, the actual article here on wildride.org, I've explained all of the um, channel levels that a user can have. So you might want to use, you know, for example, half op or super op even to you know, have more control over what users can do in your channel. Also, you can go ahead and use VOP, which is just a simple voice that a user can have. Um, either way, once you have a user with channel status, you know, it's pretty simple to add that. Um, that's pretty much it. You, know, you have everything set up here. Um, if you want to go ahead and embed this channel onto a website, you can do so at http www.wildride.org forward slash chat forward slash get chat that php I'll probably do a little video tutorial about that at a later date um, very simple process there as well as usual if you have any questions or you know, need some help with any of the commands just pop into the help channel that's forward slash join and then pound help um, someone there should be able to help you uh, we'll take time to get everything set up for you Again, thank you for watching. Uh, good luck with your channel and have a great day.